for the local station and your official Jaguar station. Jaguars fans are gearing up for another home game this weekend, and the sun will be out in full force. Last home game, for instance, temperatures passed the 100-degree mark on the field. This Sunday, our meteorologists expect it to be in the low 90s. Channel 4's Destiny McKeever is at Everbank Field with some advice on how to stay cool at the game. Yeah, and I'm actually here in one of these cool zones myself. So many options. This is the main cool zone on the south end zone of the main level. Take a look here. You can see they have air conditioned cooling benches for you to cool off. And then if you want to take a look over here, there are actually some misting fans for you to keep cool as well. This is what it was like at the home opener game just a couple weeks ago. You can see people visibly overheated and some in need of medical attention. Two Sundays ago, Jacksonville Fire and Rescue said they responded to over 123 calls at the stadium, and over 80% of those were heat-related. 35 fans had to be taken to the hospital. So this weekend, fans are gearing up. This Sunday, I'm planning on drinking a lot of water. I'm going to wear my hat like I always do, and I'm going to have a rag to wipe the sweat off my face. Jaguar spokesperson Dan Edwards told me Fans should start today with preparing for Sunday's game. He says on top of fans wearing light colored clothing to keep cool, the stadium's guest services booth will be passing out complimentary cups to use at water fountains. I also spoke with the Weather Authority's Mark Collins, and he says although temperatures will likely reach the 90s this weekend, there may be a break from the sun in the forecast. You know, just a little bit more wind, a little bit more rain in the forecast, so that might offer some relief compared to last time. Now, in addition to keeping cool, it's also important to note these escalators here behind me on the south end zone will be closed for the remainder of the season due to the construction of Daly's Place. We'll have alternate routes listed for you on our website at newsforjax.com. Reporting in Everbank Field, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, the local station.